We are talking about mobile phones. Using a mobile phone before going to bed could stop you getting a decent night's sleep. That's a, according to new research funded by the mobile phone companies themselves, claiming that radiation from the handset can cause insomnia and headaches, as well as cutting the time spent in deep sleep. And so how worried should we be? Alistair Phillips is director of Power Watch, which researches the effects of electromagnetic fields on health. And Mike Dolan is executive director of the mobile Operators Association. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let me s start with you then. What is this about exactly? Um, it's about if you're using a handset um, last thing at night. Um, mm. I say last thing at night, in the evening, um, it's nine o'clock ish maybe onwards. It um, stimulates something in the brain that means that you don't go to sleep properly. And we think it's um, melatonin probably. It's a, a thing that's used in jet lag and there's a little gland in the brain and if it's stimulated with electromagnetic waves in the evening it doesn't produce any. So your whole sort of circadian day rhythm goes out and uh, your mood goes and you don't mm. sleep well. Okay, Mike, I mean it's a very small sample size, we should say that. It's, it's just 70 people, just over. Um, but it is suggesting that radiation from mobile phone delays sleep and, and the deep sleep as well, it, it, it interrupts that. Well, as you rightly say, Sean, it is one single study and it's inconsistent with a number of earlier studies. So in its very early days, it was a conference abstract that was presented first in April of last year. So we're a long way to go, I think, for the scientific uh, community to evaluate this study because it's really one small piece uh, in a very large scientific jigsaw. But maybe still take precautions, even if, if, if research is beginning mm. to suggest that perhaps you shouldn't use your mobile phone later at night because you won't get a good night's sleep, then maybe don't use it. Well, there are no uh, hard scientific evidence that says don't. I think it's a matter of personal choice at the end of the day, and individuals can make up their own minds after they take into account the advice you get from people like the World Health Organization and the Health Protection Agency. But this is, on any view of it, a very small effect. One researcher at the conference in November last year likened it to probably, um, if it's true, less than the effect you'd see from having a cup of coffee. Mm. So one small study doesn't make... Well, it isn't one small. I think it's about the fourth study that has, has shown very similar effects, and it ties in with all sorts of other work that's been done on EMFs, and even people living near base on stations. On EMFs? Um, electromagnetic fields. Right. And also the symptoms that people living near base stations are reporting. So I think it just suggests that if you need to make a phone call in the evening, it's much better to use a landline and, and put your mobile downstairs. Don't have it by your bedside table. It's mm. not taking any business away from mobile phone manufacturers, mm. is it, by suggesting that? Well, it's up to people to decide what they want to do with their own mobile phones, but if they're looking at a scientific basis for doing it, it's simply not there at the moment. This is really very early days, and there are a number of studies that are, in fact, quite opposite of the conclusions this study is reporting. Yeah, the, the thing is, that Mike, uh, after we've been using mobile phones en masse for about, what, 15 years now? Oh, 20, something 20 like years, okay. Yeah. And, and there is still this question mark. It, it gains in intensity and then fades away. There's still a question mark around the health effects uh, of effects on the health of mobile phones, isn't there? Well, the question mark, Bill, keeps getting smaller and smaller. I mean, in September last year, we had a major research program here in the UK. 21 individual research projects reported um, almost £8 million, and they found no effects at all across those 21 Well, subjects. yes, but it's also research coming out showing after 10 years of use there's a significant yeah. increase in tumours. So I actually completely disagree with Mike. I think the evidence is getting stronger, that we should treat these things precaution in a precautionary way. And also, uh, insomnia is becoming a problem. Uh, National Sleep uh, Federation... Uh, study last year in America showed that two-thirds of women have at least two or three nights a week where they don't sleep properly and half of men. And we don't know what this increase in insomnia is caused by, but one of the possibilities is a phone. So if you're not sleeping well, it's something you can easily do. Just don't use it in the evening. Alistair, Mike, got to leave it there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.